Surely nothing can go wrong here. I've already done this one before and it's... Yeah, I've already done it. And I won. And it's the first cup on hard mode. This player is his boss character. Yes, they have rebalanced him so he's no longer broken. <laughs> metal head. I always wanted to get him. I always wanted to get the metal head, um... The Euronymous Oxide. I thought it would be fun. But no, he's never in the goddamn pit stop, and every time he is, I don't have the money for it, and I never play his Oxide because he's annoying. I don't know, there's something about the way he delivers lines where you're like, oh god, I bet he plays RuneScape. You're not having fun, alright, where you should be. <laughs> That's what he sounds like to me. Stop having fun. Have fun my way. My put-downs make me sound like an asinine loser. <laughs> Maybe I'm just crazy, but that's what he sounds like to me. Oh. Man, I gotta get some wins on this. I keep posting cringe, I'm gonna lose subscribers. <laughs> Oh, man. I do like that the HD versions of these really added some detailing where the PS1 version couldn't. Like, you know, there are like monkeys now hanging out here, there's more detail to cliffs and like there's more background stuff in the sea and, you know. <laughs> Good for you, Oxide. He overtook me by like going underneath me and then just shot my ass. Jeez. Imagine being Nitrous Oxide and come down to play a few races with these people and they just run you over like that. No wonder why he wants to kill us all. I'm gonna go up on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Every time the Velo Mask comes out, you go, yeah. <laughs> I never noticed that because I don't normally play as a low character or a generic Indian. I will take the the shortcut and it will get me nothing. Literally nothing. You lose. <laughs> it's so hard being me. Being bad at car races. <laughs> oh, I got a bubble. Oh, stupid bubble. Apparently, something blew it up. I don't know what. The bridge? Did he say Google Max for me? What does that mean? the game. I can't even get out of seventh on the first track. Oh no. Seriously, this game is hard. <laughs> what the hell? I did everything except the time trials in like the original game. Hey man, I 100%ed the first three crash platformers. Which is annoying and frustrating to do. How am I feeling at this? Tiger Temple. Now I should do okay at this. So they got a little tiger on the top. It's so cute. Look at him. He's so happy. Little kitty. You're no match for me. They really are a match for us outside. Look. 
We're boosting all the time and we still can't get past fifth. Fuck! <laughs> Every mistake and Koala Kong will just ram his fucking motorcycle up your asshole. So, <laughs> like... Jesus, this is so unfair, but we should. I'm not even mad. Hey, it's the monkeys. Can you tell me where those monkeys are from? I'll give you a dollar. I will not give you a dollar. And I will tell you the answer. They're from a secret death route path. Oh, shit. Looks like... You're, you're slower than this thing that only I understand. <laughs> Is that that guy at school who thinks he's really clever for, like, calling you a thing from Lord of the Rings? It's like, <laughs> You know what it reminds me of directly? Directly? Haha, <laughs> fuck you. One of these... So, like, I was part of a nerdy loser gang of people, but we weren't the nerdiest or the most loser gang. And there were a bunch of people who would, like, there was, like, a trio of them who were like, Oh, yes, I love learning. <laughs> and we're all really skinny and pale, and we're like, Oh, <laughs> every time and like they hung out with us once when they weren't busy doing extracurricular stuff and like they were talking and they were like and they were barely talking to us and i was just like okay whatever and like he said to one of the guys in their own look they're getting me through the fucking shortcut so mad and like, they were just arguing about something, and at some point one of the nerds said to you one, Oh, I'm gonna cut your head off, and I'm gonna kick it, drop kick it onto the rail, uh, onto the motorway. Just like, highway for Americans. And, oh, I hope it gets hit by a Ford, cause they're shit. Oh, no, wait, I hope it gets hit by an Ivaco. And you're just like... That's... That's not owning him, that's just proving that you're a sad loser who reads trucks in his free time. Oh, yeah, the Ford Transit's better than the Ivaco. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking van. Jesus Christ, you're not a, like, van man. <laughs> fucking guy in middle school. Loser. <laughs> and one time I was forced to do drama with them, and, like, um... You know, I was hanging out, like, because literally the teacher was, like, forcing me to do drama with them. And, oh my god. Like, they were, like, making me do stuff, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. And then, like, afterwards, on the way to Spanish, they walked with me and were like, See? Isn't learning fun? And I was like, oh my god. Like... I am a loser because I'm metal, and like all of these guys want to pretend they're wiggers the whole time, so I was not popular anyway, but you are making it worse! Like, <laughs> fucking hell. Me with my long hair and my Iron Maiden, and then it's just that uh, I'm minding my own business, it's my own thing, you know? It's not lame, it's just not popular, and then this guy's like, Oh boy, isn't it fun? And you're just like, oh. <laughs> Any remaining cool points I have, you're ruining it. Uh, oh, cringy as shit. Like, I was under so much special attention. I think they all thought I was gonna become a serial killer when I grew up or some shit in that school, I swear to god. Because they were like, this kid's intelligent and he's registered as, I think, pretty sure my primary school told him I was part of a gifted program. So they were going, oh yeah, if you put your hand up in every class, because they could see I was like terminally trying to avoid getting attention. Uh, like if you put your hand up and answer at least one question in every class, we'll give you a book token. And I was like, well, to be fair, a 20 pound book token, I'll probably use that. And I did it for the first few weeks and they were trying really hard to be nice to me. And I was just like, all the teachers are trying their best to really encapsulate like that like, capture my imagination because they were told oh yeah he's gonna be really successful but you have to like try with him because if you don't he won't yeah I got a second wait am I winning 
and like that was one cringe thing they did. Then halfway through our year, uh, uh, halfway through our time there, like in the middle years, they put me in this group with other people who were like all established, basically as antisocial. And we're like trying to get us to come out of our shells in an after school thing. And like half of us were there, like, this fucking blows. I just don't want to be like, it's like they were, it was like a conformity program where you were sat there, like, yeah, I don't, I don't like to like, so I don't like uh, to talk in public because literally I'm, I was bullied the whole time and then I was bullied at home, right? So I'm just sat there like, okay, I, I'm just going to sit here and like cross my arms and say, fuck you. You can't criticize me if I didn't say anything. And like half the guys there were also just like, you know, metal or punk guys who were just like, fuck you, I'm not going to say anything because like every time I do, I get my head snapped off, fuck you. Or just like, I'm too cool for this shit. And then there was a bunch of guys going, oh, 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 I'm so fucking crazy. Oh, I'm a crazy weirdo. And you're just like, oh, my God. He's just doing it for a bit. You can fucking tell. <laughs> like, he just thinks it's funny. Like, he's just a weirdo because, like, he's just allowed to be a weirdo at home. And he was never given boundaries. One of them just spent the whole time throughout this thing, that this project, experimental project they were doing to try and get, like, kids that were clearly being abused by other... Instead of solving the problem by cutting down on bullying because it's a school, <laughs> they just went, oh, you guys all get victimized a lot. Do you want to join a special club? It's going to make it fucking worse, right? Because then they're going to see us go, oh, you were in the special class. <laughs> that stupid mask. I'm eighth again. It's Coco Park. You can't be eighth on Coco Park. Why does Coco get a whole part? No they are a match for us. Oh, it was so bad. They were making us do all these weird exercises and the teacher didn't want to be there and like I didn't want to be there and none of us wanted to be there and we were just like, what are you making us do this? It was basically like, no, every child should want to be popular and beloved and as mainstream as possible. Why are you listening to this alternative music? Why are you not like <laughs> trying to be like everyone else? I don't understand. And I was like, Jesus, man, I'm just living my life. Sorry, I live in the Metallica. It wasn't even that heavy back then. <laughs> See what they did to me there? They fucking roasted me on the finish line there. It's everything hit me at once, and I had a shield on. Like, three things at once. I'm ruined. I'm ruined. Did I even podium? Oh man, it was so lame. It was so lame. School was so lame. Don't go to school, kids. Well, you probably should, but like... Don't take it seriously, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, everyone tells you, oh, this is very important. Middle school is like the whole foundation for your life. Then you get to like adulthood and no one in the whole time I have worked has gone, sorry, weren't we your GCSE grades? So it's like, you know, just pass shit and it's fine. Second. Look at this alien podium. We're all green here. Shrekking it up, 